Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Flume. Guys, in this video, I have summarized the concepts of Apache Flume so that you can take it as a reference while appearing for some exams or some interviews. Let's get started. Very first question, which is what is Apache Flume? In a simple words, we can say it's a data ingestion tool, but in a little, uh, if I go in a little detailed way, that it's a very important component of Hadoop ecosystem, which is responsible for collecting data from multiple sources. And if I talk about what kind of data it handles, it handles unstructured data. Uh, as I've already have stated that it's a very important component of Hadoop ecosystem, so it works on a top of Apache Hadoop. What is agent? Agent is consisting of three things, sources from where we'll be collecting data, channel it's a bridge between source and sync, we can say it a buffer, then we have a sync where we'll be dumping the data. So collectively it is called as an agent. What is event? It's a basic data unit that we follow in Apache Flume. What's the extension? Because we have to work with the uh, configuration files of Apache Flume, so extension is .conf. What are different type of sources we are having? Although we have a long list available, but in this uh, presentation, I just have added three sources examples. Twitter as a source, Netcat as a source, EXEC as a source. If you talk about example of syncs, we are having a multiple syncs available. You can just refer to the documentation guide of Apache Flume for that. But I have just added three examples here, HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, Logger, Avro. If I talk about channels, we are having multiple type of channels available, but I have added three type of channels, Memory Channel, File Channel, JDBC Channel. What is Channel Selector? Channel Selector meaning is when you have more than one channel available, then channel selection come into play. We are having two type of channel selectors, Multiplexing, Replicating. Multiplexing means we are selecting a dedicated channel. Replicating means the same data will be traveling or it will be replicated across multiple channels. Interceptors, uh, because I've already have talked about events earlier. So if you want to filter out the events, if you don't want all the events, but you want a subset, a part of the event, then you can have an interceptor with the likes of regex, regular expression filter. Here I have just taken example of properties, how we define properties. Like here in this case, agent one is the name of the agent dot channels equal to channel name, agent one dot sources equal to this source name SRC. Then uh, SRC type, spool DIR, I just taken as an example, but the, you should know that how to write the properties of the source. Then SRC dot channels equal to uh, CH1. Guys, one thing I want to say, the things will be always will be uh, in the plural. It not be singular. That's why we have a S at last, okay? Channels, sources. Here we are specifying the spool directory location, then file header. So it means this is how we have defined the properties of the source which is always be, be, will be starting with the name of the agent, right? Then we here, here we have just taken example of this sync. Agent one dot channels equal to CH1, agent one dot syncs equal to SK1. Here we are defining the type of the sync is HDFS. So property we are using is type, right? In this case, another property of this sync is path. Here we are defining the HDFS path where the data will be stored. Plus we have one more property available, file prefix in which we are specifying that my file which should be beginning, should be opening with the events. It means we have some properties available, type, path, file prefix, right? Similarly, if we talk about channel properties, we have some properties available, right? Capacity, transaction capacity, here we have defined some number, means what's the total capacity of the channel at particular time, how many uh, events are going in, coming out, it's called transaction capacity. It means the source, channels and sync, all three have some set of properties. Here we were having type, spool DIR, file header, right? Here we are having this type, path, file prefix. Here we are having capacity, transaction capacity, right? And type, memory, memory channel. At last we have a data flow. First of all, we have a collectors. What is collectors? Collector is an intermediate node, right? Which collects the data from multiple agents. What is multi-hop flow? Uh, uh, during the data flow, you can have a multiple agents on the way, right? So it means if you are traveling through one more than one agent, it's called as a multi-hop flow. What is fan in? Fan in meaning is multiple sources, single channel. Fan out means single source, multiple channels. Here you are multiplexing replication come into play, fan out. Consolidation means like you are getting a data from multiple agents and it got consolidated across one agent. It's called consolidation. I hope guys with this short little video, you just have got all the information about Apache Flume. For detailed information, you can refer to the playlist. Thank you guys. See you, ne see you next video.